Love on by Gary John Bishop. Gary John Bishop has really carved some space for himself in this rebellious self-help niche. It's a it's a it's a niche that's very accessible, but sometimes criticized by people who are pretty well versed in the field. I like to call it the curse in your book title niche. Hard loving, rightfully stubborn mindset advice scatters itself across the landscapes of his works, beginning with his smash hit on yourself with stop doing that to follow. The only one that didn't have a curse word was do the work. And now he's finally tackling relationships, which is not really a topic covered by authors who seem to gracefully dribble their way around in what, for lack of a better word, pickup artists like to call inner game. If I even got that right, just kind of working on what's inside. So this broad, timely chess move is kind of unusual coming from a guy who tends to be very hard-nosed regarding what's wrong with different things that we tell ourselves. But it's exciting because like, what on earth would a guy like that have to say about relationships. What do we know about this book so far? Also, let's say you watch this video and you're like, I gotta get that book right now. Where is it? When's it coming out? When can we expect it to hit the stores? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I want to make self-growth normal. Because people shouldn't have to look this information up. It should just be mainstream knowledge. If you agree, then please make sure to smash that like button. So let's start with the timing. The release of this book is scheduled for January 18th, 2022. On to what we know so far, Gary John Bishop said that being in a committed relationship is one of the most life-defining things you will ever take on, and you're not equipped to do it. And this is not very exactly empowering information, is it? But apparently how rich or successful you are, it does not change any of that. In the book, he aims to cut through this whole shtick of relationship morris, morass, I've never even seen that word before. Maybe I've heard it and I just pronounced it wrong because I misremembered it. But it puts you in charge. And what does this mean? I mean, there are no strategies, there are no techniques or secret tricks or anything like that. It's just real talk for people who want a real relationship in their, in their life that really works. It's principles of taking responsibility for your own actions, being the owner of what you can control in your life, and being the best partner you can be. It sounds kind of selfish with helpful reasoning but unusual. A lot of the time in books about relationships and self-help, you'll hear about like listening to your partner, putting yourself in their shoes, and speaking their love language. Like we just don't review a lot of relationship books on this channel. Maybe it's all the other books that we are reviewing about like working on you. Somehow my relationship with my girlfriend is, it's amazing. We've been together for two and a half years. Nothing is perfect. You know, we're human. Sometimes we fight and we may have struggles you'll find in other relationships, but we really do love each other more and more every day. And it's just ideas in books like this one that I let sort of marinate and I apply them whenever applicable. And they help me over time to become a better partner. And this sounds like probably such a generic story, but it is a true story. Anyway, you get my point, right? The whole concept of being the best relationship oriented and relationship capable you, it's pretty foreign to personal growth. So this should be fun. Now let's go on to the cover. Okay, we have here your typical red font, bold lettering, very intense, trying to convey a strong emotional message. Now getting your relationship together is it is significant. Significant is a weird word. I'm almost surprised that people haven't started the trend of calling it signif. Like they say defs instead of definitely and totes instead of totally and perf instead of perfect. It is significant though. It's almost like pick yourself up instead of something simple and not so abrupt like take a deep breath and write another pros and cons list or something. But behind it, you have this splatter painted black heart to contrast the white, and it's very simple. You don't have too much going on here, but it's not like his other covers. It makes me wonder for some reason what negative reviews of this book would have to say about it. But at the writing of this video, there wasn't anything further on his website about the book, so that's what we know so far about Love Unf Getting Your Relationship Together by Gary John Bishop. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you checked out his other books? Are they any good? Uh, did you learn anything really signif? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I don't get why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe. But if you have subscribed and you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to get a notification whenever I drop new videos, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.